Hello everyone and welcome back to Long Thursday Night War. Let's get back to this. Alright, so first off about five, maybe six game weeks have gone by. Um, and up here in the corner, I'll give you the uh, kind of a visual recap, um, a listing of everything that's that's happened. I, I tried to keep track of it as I was going along. I might have missed one or two things, but that's a pretty complete list up there. And I'll just leave that on the screen as we're as we're kind of discussing where we're at in the campaign. So um, I, I know I'm going to get the question why I think I did one time jump earlier in the campaign and why I'm doing this one. Well, it's a fair question. Um, the, the biggest thing is, is that the air game and you can see from the, the listing uh, on the screen, it's getting really, really tough. Um, it's one thing to maintain an edge against the aliens in the ground game tactical. You can, you can kind of manage that. Um, simply by being, you know, hopefully a little bit, um, you know, smarter than the, the than the AI and using sort of the tricks of the trade and your experience to kind of muddle through, um, if if it, it gets tougher and tougher, which it does, uh, as the time in game. If you're not familiar with this, with Long War, as the time in game goes by, things get tougher, and particularly the air game. It really just becomes about, you know, do you have the very best fighter craft? and all of the foundry upgrades, but eventually you get overwhelmed, okay? And how many um, bases the aliens have affects that, okay? Uh, it sort of speeds up their progression. And the air game, unlike the ground game, is not capped. Eventually, the ground game, it gets capped. Like, they can only get so bad, which is still pretty bad. <laughs> but the air game never gets capped. That's one of the things about Long War that's sort of like, uh... So, I felt the need to kind of kind of delve in and and really sort of like push really really hard uh, and the reality is as much as I enjoy playing the game with the community because obviously I do um, when things start to get really really tense and we're kind of behind the eight ball sometimes I you know one I get frustrated and two the reality is I, I mean and maybe some people aren't this way I'm, I, I maybe there is I'm not gonna say there isn't but I think the vast majority of people would agree that when you're splitting your focus, you, you're not going to be uh, quite as effective as you could be, right? So the reality is, while I love playing the game with the community and having a shared communal experience, I also have to note the fact that if I'm, you know, explaining things to you guys or just being a goofball because I tend to do that when I'm when I know you guys are watching because that's kind of my personality. Um, the reality is, it takes away from. Uh, my ability to, to, you know, execute as best as I can in a mission, even if I'm really, really trying, right? That's just sort of human nature. So that's why I decided to to take on like the last five or six uh, weeks um, in game time on my own. The other was that I really have been wanting to get to base assaults and it was just like we were never going to get there. So I, I've pushed us forward and kind of set us up um, to be able to do some base assaults. But let's let's do some kind of stuff around the base and make sure that we're really good to go before we do that. First off, let's take a look at the facilities. Uh, we did have another power generation, another fusion generator, I think it was, that we completed. So we've got enough power. We have available space for expansion when we need it. So that's good. Uh, here's our current projects that we've got keyed up. I've got another skeleton key coming. And then I'm kind of waiting for these foundry projects. Ammo conservation, advanced servo motors, and enhanced lasers. And then in terms of, let's see, do, what else do we have being built? Advanced servo motors, enhanced lasers, ammo conservation. Okay, so those are the big ones. Oh, I remember. I, fi I finally finished the, um, what did we get? Um, was it Firestorms? Yeah, okay, so we have access to Firestorms, and we can actually build some, we just need some cash, um, and we're really cash poor, even though we did have some good successes here. I need to sell off a bunch of our stuff, which is what we're gonna do right now, and we're gonna order a Firestorm right away. So, in terms of foundry projects for aircraft, I think we've got armored fighters, improved avionics... What else do we have? We, we can go check, but... We have a lot of upgrades for them, but... And, and our interceptors and interceptor pilots have been both good and lucky, I think, along the way. But the reality is, we're, we're, we're at the end of the effective use for your entertainment. of, um... Of the regular interceptors. They just can't keep up anymore. 
Yeah, because like when I go up against, um, well, you'll see when we go up against things like destroyers. Man, it's rough. Like scouts and fighters, we can still handle destroyers. It gets it gets pretty ugly. Even with boosters, it gets pretty ugly. How are we doing on this stuff? Valerium, alloy, meld. Oh, we're, we're doing good on that. Stasis tanks. We don't need any more stasis tanks, do we? Yeah, I don't think we need. Well, yeah, I don't think we do. We've got a lot of flight computers and a lot of power sources. And the reason I hadn't been selling them off, status. which you know, you could argue that along the way, uh, Central, shut up. Um, you could argue along the way that selling these would definitely make things would have made things easier, right? Access to more money because these are worth quite a bit. But I, I fought the temptation to sell these along the way so that when we got to this point, we would actually be able to build firestorms because it takes a lot of flight computers and a lot of power sources to do it. So you just have to be willing to make the sacrifice early on. It's the same thing with fusion cores, quite frankly. If you get some fusion cores, do, should you sell them? Uh, yeah, like if I had fusion cores, I would sell them because <laughs> they're worth like 400. But yeah, it just depends, I guess, too, on your playstyle. Okay, so there's 600 and something. That should be enough for one, right? Is that what it was? It was like five something. Whew, they are so expensive. Look at that. Look at how much resources those take. Okay, but speaking of fighter craft, let's take a look. We've got... We've got multiple laser cannon or soon to be equipped with laser cannon um, interceptors on every continent and we have some really high ranked pilots too so we're holding okay I also built some boosters so we're we're in decent shape there now let's go over let's do some officer promotions because I know there were I know where there's some people that could yep here we go we can we can promote Ed to major uh, all units received plus 25% for every kill all soldiers squad Sergeant rank or higher, gain 25% more. You know what? I'll take this for completing missions. And the reason being is that a lot of the missions, and I've had to use everyone. I've had to use everybody on the team for missions over the last five or six weeks. Even ones that technically don't even have in the community, don't even have a community uh, person, like, you know, backing them. Or, you know, that's their soldier or whatever. Like, all those ones that are, like, to be assigned. They've all been on missions because I had to. I even hired uh, more soldiers and started to get them in the pipe. There's just so many missions, some of which we couldn't even respond to. Yeah. So let's see. Um, and then I thought there was a lieutenant promotion we could do. And we'll go through the roster in a second. So just hold tight. Um, yeah, here we go. Yep. Reduce. There you go. Congratulations. And is there another? I thought we had another infantry person ready to go promotion yeah we do and actually uh andrew thank you very much andrew is uh new to the team um and was kind enough to support on patreon really really appreciate that so andrew's gonna join as an officer that was the one of the highest level to be assigned soldiers that we had available so let's go through here Pretty much everybody's back. There's like only a couple soldiers wounded. So we're in really, really good shape right now. The idea is hopefully get through at least one base assault without anybody dying, right? Like if we get through a base assault and everybody's just beat up, I'm kind of okay with that as long as no one dies. That's the thing. I just, we, we really, you know, we've got some people at Master Sergeant now. We've got a bunch of gunnery sergeants. We're at the, we're right at the kind of tipping point of the campaign where it can go either way for us. Like it could it could be really good or it could go sideways quick if we get into sort of like a death spiral, right? But we're looking we're looking okay, I think. Yep, we've got Indy back in five days, and we've got Christy back in ten hours, and those are the only people that are sidelined right now. There are some people, or there were some people training. Okay, I guess I'm done with that. And do we have anybody doing gene mod stuff? No. But should we? Secondary heart on some of these people makes sense. How long does that take? 10 days? Ah, uh, I don't really want to wait 10 days. Nah, I may end up regretting that. In terms of total soldier count, we really need to get up to somewhere around 80, 85. And then have them all be above tech sergeant rank, which is something that says easy and does hard. Okay, I don't think we need to order any other 
supplies. We're just waiting for this queue to finish now, so let's go ahead and spin. 26 weapon fragments for an engineer. Now, we don't need the engineers. The only reason I agree to these now are is if we get like money or if we get a soldier or something like that. Like this, I, I could care less about the engineer. So the only reason to do this, let's say not now, and I'm just telling you this for your own edification for people that aren't as familiar with Long War. If you look over here, we've got this little shield. You can see this one's almost full in Russia, but in the UK, it's only like, like, like partial. The higher the shield value on a country, the more resilient it is in terms of panic. So that's where that comes in helpful to agree to their things. Hey, stasis tanks. Okay, see, like we'll dispatch this. Sure, we'll do that for Egypt. And then Muton Elite Corpses for a recruit. Yep, I'll do that. We're currently tracking several Yep, we'll do all targets. that. And then it improves. You can see the shield went up as soon as Central gets done talking. See the shield went up a little bit. So every time you agree to help them out, it improves. So that's another thing you want to do when you can, even if the resources they're offering aren't that great. Okay, very large. We can't do anything about that. Okay, here we go. We're going to go up against a destroyer. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and send up Commander Giggles here with a laser cannon, and then we'll use a booster. Yeah, probably... We'll start with an aim module to see if he can kill him quick, and then we'll use dodge. Approaching target now. Okay, now, look at that. Our interceptor almost got destroyed. We used an aim module and a dodge module. The reason I started with the aim module is because sometimes when you've got aircraft improvements, which we do, you can kill the enemy target fast enough that you don't have to blow a, a dodge module, which are harder to come by. But the reality is, phew, that was uh, somebody with... That was a fighter with 15 kills, commander rank, and boosters, and foundry projects. I mean, so you see what I'm saying in terms of, like, the air game now. It's really, really tough. As it should be at this point. I'm not saying it shouldn't, but that's one of the reasons why I sort of did some stuff on my own. Because we needed to get we needed to get to this. To oh, happy. come on, not a terror mission. We need to protect our satellites, or we're going to lose coverage. Alright. Okay, ignore that. Okay, we got enhanced lasers. Oh, that means we can build the small item. We're always glad to have more help down Yeah, where is that? Where's that small item at? Here he is, enhanced beam foci, or beam focus. Let's build like... It's not everybody's gonna be able to use these. Let's, yeah, four is fine. How long is that gonna take? Six days, all right. Ammo conservation's done. Okay, good. Commander, our failure to respond to the latest UFO contact is sure to displease the Okay, we've got a raider. One of our top priorities is to maintain satellite coverage. Laser cannon up. Nations. Let's go. We have eyes on the bandit. We'll go for another aim boost. Closing on target. See, there we go. That worked out nicely. We were able to do it. Okay, so we've got terror attack in six hours. So. We kind of have no choice, right? We gotta do that. I really just wanted to go to a base assault in this mission, but I guess that's just not gonna happen. Alright, so all set up for the terror attack in Hong Kong. Let's go ahead and go down to one hour. And then when I come back, we'll jump into that. And then hopefully this week we'll also get to a base assault. I, I can ignore the crash sites. We don't have to do them, they're just for resources, so... Alright, let me put a team together, and I'll be right back. All right, I've got the team loaded up. Let's take a look. All right, we've got Carlock, we've got Yeti, Orb, Ed, Battle Waffle, Mad Dog, Lunar, and the General. Let's go smash more alien faces. Visual on the mission. We're heading into China for the next operation. A number of disturbing reports indicate the alien.
All right, people. Let's do this. Waffle, do your thing. Solid copy, big sky. Should we go? Hey, what's up, pigeons? Your highest priority is to protect. I was gonna. I was thinking about going upstairs, but let's just let's just check out the side of the building first. Looks clear. All right, let's move a little closer to that civilian. All right, we're gonna go up and take a look, and then we'll jump back down if there's anything up here. Okay, nothing so far. All right, we'll push up to the outside with Carlock. We'll grab a couple of civilian. Oh, okay. Glad I didn't push too far. I'm being flanked. Yeah, let's see. What shots do you have? Okay, well, let's take that one. That's a no-brainer. Nice. And we've got in the zone now, <laughs> which is sweet. So we'll take that shot in a second. Let's just see what we got going here. Sir, we should be able to bring that berserker to us, yeah? No. Okay. What if we run and gun Wolfric here? Hmm, I just need one of these to hit to pull him towards us. Yeah, go for it. Alright, alright. Um... Hmm... Well, this is kind of a pretty pickle we got ourselves into here. I mean, we could do a... A rocket? Yeah, I'm not liking that option too much. I think we're just gonna have to back up. There now. Yeah, and set for Overwatch. Moving. It's not ideal, but... It's okay. We'll just okay. jump down over here, not take that other shot. Hopefully moving back this far, I'll keep these soldiers safe. What was it, mutons? That's not, I mean, that's not too bad. I mean, that berserker's beefy. Might go hit Carlock, but I think he'll be fine. He's got tons of armor. He's in a defender suit, so he's pretty tough now. We've got some of those foundry projects to make him tougher. Okay, reaction shot from Van Dorn. Good. Nice. Oh, it's a behemoth. Ooh. Ooh, that hurts. And he panicked. Okay. Well, that's not so good. Carly like might be he might be in trouble. Depending on what these mutons do. And we lost a civilian. Dang it. Oh, there's a bunch upstairs. Okay, we got we gotta kill these guys quick and get those civilians. Alright, so, let's start from Van Dorn. He's got hollow targeting. Nice, good shot. These targets are getting way harder to hit, too, because not only is he a pretty good shot... Oh, nice. Oh, but with a pistol. Should have switched the weapon first before firing. Um... Not only is Van Dorn a pretty good shot, he's got, um... What's he got equipped? Like, uh... Let's see... Is it even gonna list it? Yeah, he's got... Look at that. He's got a neural gun link, he's got the targeting module for extra crit, and still... Missed this guy. On the second shot. That's pretty rough. Okay, so hold on. Get that shotgun out? Alright. Take him, Ed. Adjusting sights. Hmm. 
All right, let's try that again. Wow. Okay. Wolfric, maybe you could just kill it. Well, almost. There we go. Nice shot. Yeah, those... Those things are kind of nasty, huh? Yeah, I'll say. Alright, let's go back upstairs. Okay, post up over here. And then... Will do. Okay, Lunar can go here. Overwatch. Okay. Move across with Waffle. Okay, what's your chance to hit? 32. Yeah, that's not great. Let's just steady up. I have movement. What do we got? Chrysalids? Oh, okay. Taking the shot. Nice hit. Feel free to shoot some more of them. Shooting again. Nice! So he's done 14 damage already on Overwatch. Oh, he dang near killed that one. That's great. Oh, okay. Hi. That's a lot of chrysalids. Oh, missed the third shot. All right. That's okay. He did pretty well. Missed the target. Oh, you know what time it is, right? You guys know what time it is. Mm-hmm. Say it with me. It's barbecue time, people. Barbecue! Okay, missed Karlak. Good. The mechs have a little bit better defense now, too. At least one of them, because we have a battle computer. Which adds plus eight defense, plus eight aim, plus eight crit. That's a great small item for a mech. Okay. Now... Garlock, like, are you ready? You ready to go, buddy? Because I kind of need you to get over here. Heading to that location. Yeah. So let's move this away. And then we're going to move out of the way now. here. Anybody got a grenade or something? Oh, you know what? We'll just use a rocket to soften these guys up. Yep, that'll work. Suck on this. Oh, and that's his promotion to Master Sergeant, I'm pretty sure. Ed. Go ahead and... Actually, hold on. Let's not do that. Because Van Dorn might be able to kill it. There we go. Nothing's moving down there. Okay, and then... Oh yeah! Okay, take that shot. Solid. See, what would be ideal here is a grenade followed by the flamethrower, but... Well, hold on. You should be able to do that. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do grenade. Like so. Okay, grenade out. Mm-hmm. And then... Take a shot right here. Hold on, you still got two moves, yeah? Okay, take this shot, kill this one. Or miss the 94. And then command right here. Come back to Carlock and barbecue the rest. Preparing oh, that was pretty. Come on, that was pretty, you gotta admit. Okay, and then we need to go... get a civilian. 
Yep, that'll work. Oh, Mutant's right there. I see you. Good to go. Move. Here, let's do this. Let's... Let's jump down. Mm-hmm. And then... Let's reposition here. With Waffle. Okay, now we've got eyes on the Muton. Let's kill this guy. If we can. No, we missed the shot. Man, okay. That's rough. Yeah, that's not great. Plan was to shoot this guy and then take a shot at the Muton, but... No dice. Hopefully that doesn't cost us our sniper. The Muton's all alone, I'm kinda hoping he just withdraws. Wow, this is Chrysalid Central, man! Oh, nice! Yeah, get him, Wolfric. Get him. Man, everything's just rushing us. This is kind of crazy, this mission. I mean, I guess in the grand scheme of things, you'd rather have it that way, but... You're in the open. You're going to move again, yeah? Okay, good. That worked out all right. Okay. That looks like another behemoth over there. Okay, well... Hmm. Yeah, what are, what are you? Uh, Behemoth. Okay. Let's see if we can pull you into an Overwatch shot, for starters. And actually, before I do that, let's set. So, let's reload, because you've got lock and load. And let's set Overwatch. And then... Go ahead and light that guy up like a Christmas tree. And hopefully we'll get Overwatch shot, at least one Overwatch shot, and we'll get a close combat, plus anything that Van Dorn does. 14 crit, that was sexy. Second shot missed. I need to get him that gen modification for the eyeballs. Hyperreactive pupils or whatever. Oh, we missed the shot, okay. But close combat's not gonna miss. Mmm, could have been more damage, but at least he shredded. Fast. We got that for free. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna back up. Yeah, we're gonna back up like... to here. Mm-hmm. And then we're gonna lob a rocket in there. Rocket man! And if he had rocket. Tana Moorheads, would, this would be a sexy shot. It's still good, but... Would have been even better. Yeah, go say... You want to move forward and say hello to Wolfric? Why didn't we get a second close combat shot? I don't know why that works sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't. So strange. Okay, so now... We need to move back. Yeah, like back here. That sounds good. And then, let's see... 83%. 83, 83. Let's see if we can get these guys that are a little further out. So that they don't scurry away. Bye -bye. Nice. Okay, and then out here. Burning through ammo Not fast. enough for the kill. Okay. And... Only got enough for one shot, huh? We could take that shot. Hmm. I think we just barbecue these guys. They should panic. They won't last long. 
or die, right? Hive Queen panicked. Okay, good. And I don't really want to leave Wolfric in the open, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run and gun to here. And then we'll pop this thing in the face. Okay. Yeah. And then Ed's gonna finish it. Mm-hmm. Nailed him. And then let's see. I'm tempted to take this shot. But they're gonna be panicked for a turn for like three turns, so I think we'll just overwatch. It's probably the better move. And then we can kill that floater. Probably. We have to expose ourselves, which I'm not too excited about, but... I guess it's okay. If it hits. Nope. Whiff. Can't kill him if you don't hit him. Okay, panicked, and you're panicked, right? Oh, you're running. Okay. Uh, that's not good. No way that just happened. That it's running. I don't like that too much. Because now it's gonna kill that civilian. Yep. Alright, well we'll deal with that next turn. And then we got that mutan. Oh, I didn't know we already had some Zambis here. Alright. Okay, and then whatever the floater's gonna do. Oh, that's a mutant sniper. All right. I didn't realize there was that many floaters. Okay. And another mutant. Okay. Nice shot. Kill confirmed. I'm all out. Yep. Snap reload. And let's keep going. Four sixty-nine. Eighty-three, that looks like a good target. Excellent. And let's see, who else can we get? You're exposed, but well, if we get your health down a little bit, actually, we can make that work. Yeah. So let's move up a little bit with Carlock. Ooh, I don't want to... Yeah, actually, I'm going to take that shot. I was going to do a grenade, but... I'm not going to pass up on a nice flank like that. No, that's too tasty. That's too tasty. Let's see. Mind fray. We could mind fray one of them. Here, why don't we try to mind fray that guy? Because otherwise he's just going to reload and that's going to be his turn. There we go. All right, he's not, he's not too dangerous now. Okay, 72, we've got 87, 58. All right, let's work on this Hive Queen a little bit. Wow, come on. Come on, come on, Ed. There you go, that's what we're looking for. Negative, weapons dry. All right, and then maybe move. How much defense does this thing have? Lone wolf, enemy defense minus 12. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Just debating whether or not we want to move her further back. I think she's far enough back, though. I don't think we're going to gain anything. 
So, take the shot. Target still up. <sighs> okay. Okay, slide across. Got a target here, we got a target here. Okay, solid hit. Okay, reposition. Uh, reload. Ready to engage. Fifty-four percent, sixty-nine percent. Yeah, we better not do that. We're kind of pushing our luck. Let's just move to cover. As much as I'd like to take a shot. Now, this zombie right here, this zombie might be close enough to actually hit our medic? I, I, I hope not. Please stop moving. Okay, we're good. We're good. Whew, I was a little worried that I counted cor incorrectly on that. Come on, zombie. Slow ass zombies. Okay, armor took it. Fired on civilian, all right. It's unfortunate. I'd like to save them. <laughs> I really would. What are you doing? You got one health. You got a death wish? Good, you missed Carlock. I like it. All right, so we'll lob a grenade down there. Take care of them. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Snap or reload. For starters, and then... You actually get two shots, right? You have light them up. Yeah, you do. Okay, so then let's do this. Take this shot. Mm-hmm. And then with the second action, we'll lob a grenade down here, killing one muton and hopefully destroying the cover for the other. For that muton sniper. Okay, now the sniper is in the clear. So we can... take this shot and kill you. Mm-hmm. Then... reposition our sniper down here. And then take that shot and kill you. No longer a threat. Okay. And let's see. We can go ahead and take a shot here, but this will end the chain because they're in cover. If it hits, anyway, you know. Okay, solid hit. Dry on ammo. Okay, how many we got left here? Two floaters, one Zambi, one Muton. Okay. So let's see, Van Dorn, you go ahead and reload. Ed, come back to you in a moment. Yeti. No, we'll have... Uh, where's Wolfric at? Come here, buddy. I need you. Roger, tracking. If you can, to make that shot right there? Yeah, you can. I don't think it's gonna take two, but we'll just go for it. No, oh, 19 crit. <laughs> when he kills something, he kills it good. Mm-hmm. He ain't messing around. Alright, push up a little bit. Take the shot. Very nice. See in hell. Position confirmed.
Oh, failed it. Failed it. Darn it. That would have been great. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna overwatch in case he moves. Or, hold on. Take him. There you go. Very nice shot. Oh, there's that other muton. What's up, buddy? You're a little late to the party. Really? You want to kill a civilian that bad? Wow. I'm just gonna stand in the open. Like, alright. That is one determined muton, man. Let's see. Should have eyes on from here. Okay, and that's your green ass. Actually, technically, they're like... Oh, wow! I was gonna say, technically, they're like, kind of like reddish or whatever in this version of XCOM. Alright, high fives! Psh, psh, psh. That was pretty darn good! Yeah, I'll take it. We're certainly not leaving any question as to oh, nice. Two promotions to Master Sergeant. Okay, so on, um, you know, it really depends, obviously, on how you build your soldiers. In terms of Rocketeers, the way we built ours was for sort of maximum uh, destructive power, okay? Uh, not necessarily cover destruction or weakening enemies, but really trying to get as many kills if they're clustered as possible. We're setting up like you saw in this mission, setting up in the zone chains, where you fire a rocket, do as much damage as you can to whittle them down, and then go after them with an end-of-zone sniper. So, for us, when we get down to this last choice, there's good. There's a lot of good choices. You've got danger zone, which increases the you know the spread. You've got javelin rockets, which which increases the range, which are super cool. I, I really really like them. But tandem warheads which allows us to do the maximum amount of damage out to the edge of the area effect, for this build, in my opinion, is the best option. And then we've we've also got Mayhem to do an additional two, two damage. I mean, we've, we've kind of set it up that way. So we're going to take Tandem Warheads. And then on Carlock, we have set Carlock up as a, a shooty, right? He's a shooter. He's not really a... He's not a tanky mech, right? So let's see, heat ammo, we gave him dead eye. Right, we made him kind of anti-flyer. Okay, so what makes the most sense here? I mean, absorption fields are great, or they used to be. We're taking out some of the uh, damage that's incoming, but I, I think Shredder makes sense here because also too, in terms of equipment, we can give him a hollow targeter so he could fire at two targets and hollow target them and shred them. Yeah, that's pretty useful. So we're gonna go with Shredder Ammo. Well... Or two destructive grenades in an inventory slot. Ooh, That would be nice. No, nope, no, nope, we didn't make him that kind. So we're sticking with our shooter build. And we'll take Shredder. Okay. Remember... Contact detected. An abductor, ignore that. Commander, we picked okay. up a for assistance. <laughs> Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Oh man, long war I I both love and hate you. Alright, this is a destroyer, so we're gonna send up you know what I haven't done? Is tried sending one up on defensive? Let me try that. Instead of sending up on balance, we'll send up on defensive. Bangs out. And then just use a tracker to keep him in the... Nearing strike range. To keep him in the, the battle longer. Hey, that's a much cheaper way to do it. Track modules are a lot easier to do than dodge, so maybe that's what we do. Huh. Okay. Good to know. Okay, another raider. Scramble. We'll do this again. Oh, this is a raider. The other one was a destroyer, I think. Okay, get ready to abort if we need to. Okay, very nice. Okay, so... Uh, no, ignore that. We have to do the abduction. We don't have to do the crash sites. So, we'll do the alien abduction next. Yeah. But we'll go ahead and end this one here. We'll come back and do the abduction because we don't have a choice. 
And then hopefully, hopefully we will get to base assaults this week. I'm, do I'm doing everything I can to get us there, people. I really am. I hope that you enjoyed this episode and the rationale of why I kind of moved things forward in game time. Uh, if you if you did, great. If you didn't, well, that's okay, too. You can let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Mal, and I'll see you later.